Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of the Hostinger Cyber Panel VPS series. In the first and second part, we have already covered how to create a website, point your domain, install WordPress, and in second part, we have done how to set up your email account and everything. In the third part, we are going to cover the security functions. So we will install an enable firewall to make our server and all the websites hosted on it more secure. So for this, um, just go to dashboard here and from here go to security and first let's explore this option firewall. Okay. So right now it's a very basic and simple firewall. You just have to enable it. Just um, enable it by pressing this green button here and you will see act action successful. And you can see these are the basic firewall rule. So these ports are allowed and disallowed. Okay. So, but uh, we are going to do some advanced settings. And now let's again go back to the security here. Let's go to secure SSH. So for now, uh, the root login is enabled and we have not set up the SSH keys. But if you are not using SSH, I would recommend you to disable it and click on save changes. If you want to enable it, then you can do that. But you may need it if you forget the password of the cyber panel. So to re reset that, you would need SSH access. So for now, I'm not going to do any changes. But it is recommended to turn this uh, turn this off or change the port sometimes. So it's actually a little debate. Uh, if some say it is good, some say it is not so good. And you can use the SSH keys option, which we will cover sometime later. Let's let set up the firewall first. And here, let's go to the mod security. Okay, so this will be our web application firewall. It is not installed by default. So we will have to install it. And it's simple, it will auto install and then we will configure it. So you can see the progress here. It is downloading the required packages and then it will install it. Okay, so mod security is installed and the page will automatically refresh. So just keep this everything option on and it set it to zero. It's uh, by default, just uh, click on save changes. Okay, it's done. Now again, go to security here and now go to mod security rules. Okay, so it just keep this at default, just uh, click on save rules. Okay, so there's no action required. Again, go to security and from here, go to mod security rules pack. So I will use the, you can e use either of these rules. So first is this open source uh, mod security. Both rules are free, but earlier they used to be a lot of false positive with this OWA's app um, mod security core rules. But I think th things have improved now. Uh, if you want, you can also use this, but from my research, I would uh, prefer to use this. And for, if you want to enable advanced settings, then you can go to this configure here. Um, from here, you can enable or disable any rule you want specifically. So for example, this is uh, right now disabled. So if you want to enable it, just tick this option and it will be enabled. If you are having an issue with some, because of some false positive, then you can uh, untick this option and disable that rule. Okay. So that's how it works. And let's go to security. I think if you go to the configuration, there would be a testing option also. Yeah, I will show that later. So let's see this option CSF. Okay, it is also not installed. This will allow you to basically configure our security and firewall settings uh, in a much better way than we first saw in which it was very simple. So click on install now. Okay, it's installed and the page will automatically refresh. So installing all the security application will make your website slightly slower because this will also consume extra resources and there is an additional process now before the traffic hits your website. 
so but it is very important so we have to make that compromise so if you want to enable the testing mode which i was telling you earlier you can turn on this option and then your website will not be protected but uh, if you want to test it that's how you can do it okay so but you can keep these things at default and there are some advanced settings for example if you want to allow your personal ip then you can do that if you want to block some ip address then also you can put that ip address here click on this uh, save button and save that okay and i will show you more advanced settings go to this okay we do not need this uh, for this we will need cloud linux which we have not installed okay so now let's go to this config server services then click on this config server security and firewall so you can see your firewall status should be enabled and running so the first option allows you to do a security check so you can click it and it will show if there is any improvement required for example uh, firewall is running okay and then it is showing that for ipv6 the ipv6 is not installed and I, we should enable this in the csf configuration and it is also suggesting us this and that which i told you earlier if you are not using the ssh then you should um, either consider moving it to a non port uh, from 22 which is the default port so this can save you from bots which are scanning the default ports and doing both brute force attacks and also you can remove the password authentication uh, instead of that use ssh keys and this option also but these are recommendations and the servers again this is a recommendation that if you are not using the services we should disable it this is our server security score okay uh, so you can fix this issues and then come back and run this again so now let's go to return here we'll show you how you can um, fix some of the issues so let's first uh, so I will show you just step by step so it is easy so from here you can see the blocking statistics and everything so if it is your firewall blocked some bots or things like that then you can see the statistics here this is all for information okay go to the info this is the info tab go to csf here so if in case you get blocked by this firewall for example if you tried the ssh login and you enter the wrong password multiple times you are, you will automatically get blocked by the server so in case you are not able to access the cyber panel what you can do is go to hosting a control panel here then scroll down and here you will see this option firewall click on reset it and it will disable the firewall so then you can log into the cyber panel control panel and don't forget to enable the firewall again okay and then uh, quickly allow your ip put your ip here and then put admin ip and quick allow or if you want to block some ip you can quickly do that from here okay also if you want to unblock your ip from the block list you can do that before enabling the firewall so now let's hear um, the firewall configuration so you remember we saw the ipv6 issue so we can scroll down here so this is the ipv6 so we if we turn this on it will fix the issue click on change here and then you will have to restart the firewall it's done return now if we run the server security we will see that there is no ipv6 uh, there is no ipv6 error the score will also slightly improve now let's again go to return here and go to here so now from here you can automatically set the firewall profile so they are pre-configured firewall profile you can do that and from here you can see the search for ip if it is blocked um, you can allow ip you can see if we have allowed ip currently zero permanent ip are allowed 
So for example, if you have allowed uh, some developer's IP who was working on your website and now you want to remove it from the allowed list, you can click here and then you will see all the allowed IP. So here you will see, just remove that IP and then click on change and return. Okay. So that's how you can enable uh, allow or block IPs. So the, here, from here you can enable firewall, disable, restart, quick restart temporary allow uh, or think a lot of things like this okay so uh, for important thing is this firewall profile so you can if you want to use this pre-configured firewall profiles you can do that for example if you want to have high security then you can um, select this option protection high okay? if you want to reset to it then you can do this okay then click on apply profile Resetting will reset every all the settings. Restart your firewall, return, and again go here. So in firewall profiles again I will go, and I want to uh, block all the bots IPs. So if someone tries to log into my server three times, if they fail, the firewall will block them. So you can decide for how long you want to block them. You want to block them permanently, you can block them temporarily. You can decide how for how long you want to block them, okay? So the process is simple. Again, select it and then click on apply profile. I have already selected the high one. So I will return it from here. And you can try test this firewall if you get blocked or not. Just try to log into the SSH server multiple times using wrong password and see if you get blocked by the firewall. So from here again, you can um, just see the logs and everything status. You can see if it is running or not. And in other settings, you can test your IP tables. So mainly the, these are the important settings, which I've shown you how to allow block and all these things. And some other things are, uh, you can go to plugins here and see all the installed plugins. So we have installed the security firewall. From here also you can go to manage applications. So for example, you can see all the applications installed. So we have Redis installed. It is a caching plugin for, it is a caching, um, it's not a plugin, but it is required for caching. Okay, for it's mainly for caching the dynamic parts of the website. It will just make your website really fast. For example, if you are new, not using FTP, then I would recommend you to just disable this because here's the more programs you use, the more vulnerabilities your sites will have. So as a good precaution, if you're not using FTP, just disable it, click on save changes. If you want to use it, enable it and again start using it. And another thing, let's test if our firewall is working properly. So this is the page I'm seeing when I visit my website right now because I have not installed anything. So I will paste this. Um, Slash okay, and this will test if we get this means that the mod security firewall is working. If we don't get blocked, it means the firewall is not working. So you see, we are getting a 403 forbidden error, it means the mod security firewall is working. You can also check the logs and everything here. Okay. From here, you can see the mod security audit logs and all the access logs and everything. If you want to see if or what requests are getting blocked and or blocked or not, so you can see we just tried this. You can see this uh, in the log here. Mod security exists tonight with 403. We we use this slash slash value, so it triggered this rule. Okay. So similarly, if you see there's a false positive, you can check the logs and disable that rule. And in the server status here, you can see the status of various applications and also change port if you want. So for example, if you want to change the port of the cyber panel access, for example, right now we can access it over 8090 port, but do not change it unless you know what you're doing. Because if you change it to a port, which is also used by some other application, there can be conflicts and there will be issues. So another thing I forgot to tell you is to create snapshot of your server before making major changes. Uh, go to the hosting panel here, click on the snapshot, create and I've already created one. So there can be only one snapshot and it, this will also will automatically get deleted 
after 20 days so just click on yes and after two three minutes the snapshot will be created i will cancel it so if you want to restore snapshot then you can just use the restore option and you should be able to restore your server status to the last time before you made a change from packet manager here you can update a lot of things that are installed so we'll see what all upgradable packages are available if you and if you want to update them so you can see there are a lot of updates pending so i can use the total upgradable packages 8 to 88 and click on update all then it will install all the pack update all the packages you can see all packages here cyber panel packages here if you want to let's try to update uh, i will try to just update one this one package you can also check the details okay so it has been upgraded i'm not updating everything because that will make the video longer so i will do do that later and if you want to uh, check if there is any update for the cyber panel is available you can go to version management here and from here you can see if you are running the latest version or if you need to upgrade it so there is the latest uh, we are use the latest build is two but we we are using a, a build one so we can update that as i showed you earlier okay, from the server status here you can see if those uh, light speed status is working or not if you want to also reboot the light speed you can do that from here so that's it guys for this video i hope you found it useful and managed to secure your server but always remember that there is nothing 100% secure so you will have to use uh, so if you are using wordpress website then i would recommend you to use some other security plugin also or you can use cloudflare service like that if you have any questions post that in the comments i will try to help you out and that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video